greetings from erod sayundar engineering college i welcome you all for the gate coaching class i am sikha sturi working as a assistant professor in the department of mathematics erod sayundar engineering college tirupati under aict prerana scheme our college is conducting gate coaching classes this is the engineering mathematics syllabus for chemical engineering students for writing the gate examinations in february 2021 these are the topics linear algebra calculus differential equations complex variables probability and statistics and then numerical methods we are going to discuss about differential equations these are the sub topics of differential equations first one is first order linear and non linear equations second one higher order linear differential equations with constant coefficients Hodge's and Euler's equations, and initial and boundary value problems, and then Laplace transforms. Then final one solutions of one-dimensional heat and wave equations and Laplace equations. Now we are going to discuss about first and higher order linear equations with constant coefficient and Hodge's Euler equation. So first, we have to know what is differential equations. The definition is a differential equation is an equation with one or more derivatives of a function, which can be written as dy by dx. Here y is a dependent variable which is dependent with x. So x is an independent variable. This is the definition for differential equation. There are two types of differential equation. The one is ordinary differential equation that is called ODE, and the second one is partial differential equation. we call pde so we discuss about only ode problems uh, what is the definition of ode means and ordinary differential equation is an equation containing one or more functions of only one independent variable here the example is d squared y by dx squared plus 5 into dy by dx plus 6y equal to 0 here there are only one independent variable so that this equation is called a ordinary differential equation the another one is partial differential equation that is pde the definition of the partial differential equation is a yeah, pde equation is a differential equation containing more than one independent variables this is the example for pde how to write do square is it by do x do y plus 3 is it equal to 0 here is it is a dependent variable which is dependent with x and y there are more than one independent variable so that this equation is called a pde equations so now we discuss about first order linear differential equations the general form of first order linear differential equation is dy by dx plus py equal to q here p is a constant value and q is a function of x that is in terms of x we have to solve this equation we get the general solution is y e power integral p dx that is equal to integral q e power integral p dx into dx plus c here e power integral p dx equal to integral factor that is i dot f this is the solution for first order linear differential equation how to use this formula we have to calculate the solution for first order linear differential equation now how to see the problem first one uh, solve dy by dx plus y by x equal to x power 3 and they are giving the initial conditions that is y of 1 equal to 6 by 5 now how to solve this problem the given equation is dy by dx plus y by x equal to x power 3 so how to write in the rewrite the equation dy by dx plus 1 by x into y that is equal to x power 3 how to convert the general term here p value equal to 1 by x and q value that is right hand side value is q value that for q equal to x power 3 now we have to find the integral factor value that is a power integral p dx value then only how to find the solution so integral factor i dot f equal to e power integral p dx we know the p value that is 1 by x therefore e power integral 1 by x into dx we know the formula integration of 1 by x into dx that is log x so exponential and log is inverse process therefore these two are cancel 
then we get a power integral p dx value is only x that is equal to x therefore the general solution is we know the formula y e power integral p dx that is equal to integral q e power integral p dx into dx plus c we know the e power integral p dx value that is x so substitute here therefore y into x that is equal to integral we know the q value the q value is x power 3 therefore substitute here then into e power integral p dx is that is x into dx plus c multiplying these two values therefore x power 4 into dx plus c the left hand side is same y into x therefore y x equal to integration of x power 4 into dx we know the formula integral x power n into dx what is the formula integral x power n into dx x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 so that here n equal to 4 therefore we get x power 5 by 5 plus c this is the y of y x value so we want the solution of y therefore y equal to how to multiply in this multiplication x how to transform into right hand side therefore we get y equal to x power 4 by 5 plus c by x this is the solution for y how to take this equation into equation number 1 here we are giving the initial conditions that is y of one equal to 6 by 5. So take this given condition y of 1 equal to 6 by 5. This y equal to x power 4 by 5 plus c by x equal to y of x value. Y means that is y of x. Y in terms of x. We are expressing y in terms of x. Therefore y and y of x are same. How to put x equal to 1 here. So we get 1 by 5 plus c by 1 that is equal to 6 by 5. How to calculate in this equation? For c value. Therefore c equal to here 6 by 5 is there. How to 1 by 5 take right hand side. Therefore minus 1 by 5. Therefore c equal to simplifying this one. 6 minus 1 is 5 divided by 5. Therefore we get c equal to 1. Substitute here. We get the final solution. Therefore Substitute c equal to 1 in equation number 1, we get the solution, final solution y equal to x power 4 by 5 plus 1 by 5. This is the solution of given first order equation. It's okay. How to find the y, equa y solution? Then how to find the constant value by using the initial conditions. That's all. Then move on to the next problem. Here dy by dx plus y equal to e power x. Similarly, this is also the first order equation. Here also given the initial conditions y of 0 equal to 1. But here we have to find the value of y of 1. We are giving y of 0 equal to 1 initial value. How to find the next term y of 1 value. That is we have to find it in this problem. So given term is dy by dx plus y equal to e power x. How to compare this first order equation into general form? Here p value is 1. That is here y coefficient is 1. Therefore p value here 1 and q equal to e power x. Here also how to find the integral factor. That is e power integral p dx. Here p value 1. Substitute here. The integration of dx. Integration and differentiation is a reverse process. Therefore they, these two are cancelled. Therefore we get e power x. Therefore, integral e, p, integral e power p dx value is e power x. Substitute in the general equation. So, we know the formula. Y e power integral p dx equal to integral q e power integral p dx into dx plus c. Substitute integration factor value and q value here. So, y into e power integral p dx value, we know that is e power x. And q value given in the problem, that is e power x. Here also e power integral p dx value is e power x into dx plus c. How to multiply these two value? The base is in how to add in the power. We get e power 2x into dx plus c. Therefore y e power x equal to e power integration of e power 2x we know. What is the integration of e power 2x? e power 2x divided by 2 plus constant term. Therefore this is a solution of y e power x. We want the solution of y value. Therefore, taking e power x into right hand side. Therefore, we get 
Here we have to write e power two x as e power x into e power x. This term comes the denominator. Now four divided by two into e power x. Here also c by e power x. These two terms are cancelled. Then finally we get the solution y of x or y that is equal to e power x by two plus c by two x. Here also take this y of x solution is equation number one. After that have to use the initial conditions. What they are given? Y of zero equal to one. Here what is the place x value? Here put x equal to zero in equation number one. We get e power zero by two plus c by e power zero that is equal to one. Here also have to find the constant term that is c value. We know e power zero that is one. Therefore one divided by two plus c by here also one that is equal to one. Therefore one by two plus c equal to one. Then finally c equal to one. Taking one by two as right side. Therefore minus of one by two. As I go simplifying this term, we get c equal to one by two. Substitute c equal to one by two in equation number one. We get the final result. Therefore, y equal to e power x by two plus what is the c value? One by two. So substitute here, we get one by two e power x. Now to take one by two as common. Therefore, in this first term, we get e power x plus One by e power x. We know one by e power x take as a numerator. We have to write e power minus x. Therefore, this is the solution of y of x. But in this question, we want the value of y of one. In this term, we have to use put x equal to one. We get y of one value. Therefore, now put x equal to one. Here also put x equal to one. This is the y of one value. Therefore, y of one equal to one by two e power Put x equal to one. Therefore, e power one plus e power minus one. This is the solution for y of one. This is the first order equation how to solve. They are giving the first order equation how to find the integral factor value and then calculate the general solution of the given equation. They are giving the initial value means you have to find the constant value and then write the general solution. This is the method for solving the first order equation. It's okay. Next, move on to the next topic. The second topic is higher order linear differential equations. Um, we know the higher order means more than one. The order is more than one. Here, the general form of second order linear differential equation. This is the general form a into d squared y by dx squared plus d into d y by dx plus c y equal to some f of x. Here a, b, c are constant terms, and the right answer f of x we know that is the function of x. How to rewrite this equation? Therefore, a into here d squared by dx squared. How to write capital D squared into y plus b. Here d by dx that is capital D that is a differential operator into y plus c y equal to f of x. Now to take y as outside, then we get a d squared plus b d plus c into y equal to f of x. We have to solve this equation. We get the solution y equal to complementary function plus particular solution. Now to find two results in this equation, that is called the solution y. We have how to find the complementary equation. There are three cases: case one, case two, case three. So to find the complementary function, first we have to write the auxiliary form for the given equation. The auxiliary equation is put capital D equal to m in the above equation. A m squared plus b m plus c equal to zero. So don't take right hand side. For calculating complementary function, only put zero. Therefore, replacing d by m, we get a m squared plus b m plus c equal to zero. Here we have to solving this equation we get two roots because here the order is m squared. Therefore, we get two roots. In these two roots, there the chances are. The two roots are real and different. We have to say m one, m two. And the second case, the roots are real and equal. Generally, we call m. 
otherwise the roots are imaginary that is in the form of alpha plus or minus i beta these are the three cases for the first case suppose the our two roots are real and different means now to write the first root is m1 and the second root is m2 the in complementary function formula equal to a e power m1 x plus b e power m2 x this is the solution of complementary function suppose our two roots are equal roots that time we have to say simply m in this case the complementary function formula that is y equal to a x plus b into e power x i have to replace m value here then third case that is the roots are imaginary that is in the form of alpha plus or minus i beta then the complementary function result is y equal to e power alpha x into a cos beta x plus b sin beta x how to replace alpha value here and beta value here this is the three cases for finding the complementary function now we have to move on to the problem the first problem is d square plus 5d plus 6 into y equal to 0 for solving this equation how to find the complementary function result so the solution um, we have to change this equation into axillary form for putting d equal to m therefore uh, we get m square plus 5m plus 6 equal to 0 we have to factorize this equation uh, for the factors of m plus 2 into m plus 3 equal to 0 therefore uh, comparing these two equal to 0 therefore m plus 2 equal to 0 and m plus 3 equal to 0 we get m equal to minus 2 and here m equal to minus 3 here the two roots are different roots therefore we have to take this one is m1 and this one is m2 then we know the formula two roots are different means what is the formula for cf therefore y equal to a e power m1 x plus b e power m2 x replace m1 m2 value here therefore the solution is y equal to a e power minus 2 x that is m1 value plus b e power m2 x that is minus 3 x this is the solution of this given equation this is the one of the method and the second problem given differential equation is d square minus 9 into y equal to 0 here also we have to write the axillary form by replacing d by m so m square minus 9 equal to 0 here take minus 9 as right hand side therefore m square equal to plus 9 how to find two roots therefore m equal to plus or minus 3 here also two roots are m equal to 3 and m equal to minus 3 here also two roots are real roots and different so take this is m1 and this one is m2 and for the solution formula y equal to a e power m1 x plus b e power m2 x how to substitute the value m1 and m2 here therefore the result is y, y equal to a e power 3 x plus b e power minus 3 x this is the complementary solution for this equation next the third problem we are giving d square minus 4d plus 4 into y equal to 0 similarly how to write the axillary form and find the roots in this axillary form by replacing d by m we get m square minus 4m plus 4 equal to 0 therefore solving this equation otherwise i have to write m minus 2 whole square this is in the form m minus 2 whole square that is equal to 0 therefore m minus 2 whole square means m minus 2 into m minus 2 there are two factors that is m equal to 2 comma 2 here the roots are real and equal roots therefore simply we take m therefore the solution is y equal to the complementary fun function formula e power mx into ax plus b you have to put m value here therefore the solution is y equal to e power 2x into ax plus b this is the case 2 formula we are using here next fourth problem solve d square plus 2d plus 4 into y equal to 0 how to solve this equation first we have to write the axillary equation that is by replacing d by m so m square plus 2m plus 4 equal to 0 here we can't get the roots directly so we have to use the formula the quadratic formula m equal to minus b plus or minus b square minus 4ac by 2 m this is the quadratic formula to find the roots so here comparing 
a b c value we want here a b c values therefore a equal to the coefficient of m square value that is 1 therefore b value is the coefficient of m value that is 2 here c means that is a constant term that is 4 how to substitute here we get the roots so m value is 2 the b value is 2 plus or minus square root of b square that is 2 square we get 4 minus 4 a c so 4 into a into c and for 4 into 1 into 4 we get 16 therefore divided by 2 into a so a value here 1 therefore 2 into 1 we get 2 therefore again you have to solve this therefore minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 16 we know minus 12 divided by 2 then you have to write minus 2 plus or minus the square root of minus 12 we have to write 4 into minus 3 by divided by 2 then therefore minus 2 plus or minus take root 4 is outside that so that is 2 square root of minus 3 divided by 2 then minus 2 plus or minus 2 into what is the root of minus 3 i into root 3 we can't take root 3 value therefore minus 2 plus or minus 2 into root of minus 3 equal to i into root 3 divided by 3 have to take 2 as outside in the numerator part therefore take 2 outside then remaining term minus 1 plus or minus i root 3 divided by 2 therefore cancelling these two values then we get m equal to minus 1 plus or minus i into root 3 this is the imaginary root so comparing here alpha equal to minus 1 that is real part value is minus 1 that is alpha and the coefficient of Imaginary term value that is root 3 is beta value. Therefore, here alpha value minus 1 and beta value root 3. Therefore, the complex roots, therefore, the complementary function formula is y equal to e power alpha x, a cos beta x plus b sin beta x. Here, substitute alpha and beta value. Therefore, alpha is minus 1. Therefore, minus 1 into x that is minus x into a cos beta value root 3. Therefore, a cos root 3x plus b sin root 3x. This is the solution for the given differential equation. Then how to use the third case formula? Because our roots are imaginary roots. These problems are finding only complementary function. Because the left hand side term only given. They can't given the right hand side value. Because right hand side value is case 0. Next the particular integral. There are four types of particular integral problems the type one is the right hand side value is e power x in this case we have to replace d by the coefficient x value that is a this is the type one problem so first question solve d sky n minus 5d plus 6 into y equal to e power 2x here how to solve this equation how to find first complementary function and also find particular integral value because the right hand side value is given that is in the first type so we have to solve the first complementary function therefore the axillary equation is m square n minus 5m plus 6 equal to 0 how to write the axillary equation means replace d by m and take right hand side as 0 and we have, we have to solve this equation and to factorize m minus 2 into m minus 3 is the factors equal to 0 Comparing these two equal to 0, we get m minus 2 equal to 0 and m minus 3 equal to 0. Therefore, m equal to 2, here m equal to plus 3. Therefore, the two roots are real and different roots. Therefore, take m1 equal to 2 and m2 equal to 3. Therefore, the complementary function formula we know a e power m1x plus b e power m2x. Substitute m1 and m2 value here. How to get the complex complementary function result? That is c dot f is a e power 2x plus b e power 3x this is a complementary result now we have to find the particular solution in this particular solution we have to write 1 divided by given equation d sky n minus 5d plus 6 into the right hand side part e power 2x therefore the next step what is the right hand side value e power 2x it is in the form of e power ax so e power ax means we have to replace d by this coefficient a. So here the d value x e power coefficient is 
therefore, we have to replace d by 2 here. Therefore, substitute d by 2, we get d squared equal to 4. And here, minus 5 into d, that is d value substitute here 2, we get minus 10 plus 6 into e power 2x. Now, to adding this denominator, we get 0. Therefore, 1 by 0 means we get infinity. So, infinity is not a solution of particular integral. Therefore, these two are not in the solutions. Therefore, we have to find the solutions means how to take this equation multiplying by x, then how to differentiate denominator with respect to d. Therefore, x into 1 divided by how to differentiate denominator with respect to d. We get d square means what is the differentiation 2d minus 5 into d how to differentiate with respect to d only therefore minus 5 a constant term therefore the differentiation value is 0 therefore multiplying x then denominator is differentiate with respect to d therefore 2d minus 5 into same e power 2x here how to substitute d by 2 here therefore 2 into 2 minus 5 into e power 2x therefore x into 4 minus 5 so 4 minus 5 into e power 2x therefore simplify this term 4 minus 5 we get minus 1 therefore x into 1 divided by minus 1 into e power 2x therefore the solution is minus x into e power 2x this is the particular solution result therefore how to add in this complementary function and particular solution only we get the general solution Therefore, y equal to complementary function plus particular integral. Therefore, y equal to, we know complementary result, already we find it. a e power 2x plus b e power 3x. I have to write here. And plus particular integral value, that is minus x e power 2x. This is the final solution. This is the type 1. Next, type 2 problem. How to find the particular solution by using type 2. In this type 2, the right hand side term is either cos ax or sin ax. In this case, we have to replace b squared by minus this coefficient a squared. This is the method for solving particular solution value. So here, the given problem is d squared plus 2d plus 1 into y equal to sin x that is sin 1x it is in the form of type 2 problem okay first we have to find the complementary function how to find the complementary function before you have to write the axillary form similarly replacing d by m therefore m square plus 2m plus 1 equal to 0 whenever you are, you are writing axillary form the right hand side value is always 0 therefore it is in the form of m plus 1 whole square. That is equal to 0. Therefore, m plus 1 into m plus 1 equal to 0. Therefore, two roots are m equal to minus 1, minus 1. Therefore, two roots are real and equal roots. Therefore, the complementary function formula we know. What is it? e power mx into ax plus b. Substitute m value here. Therefore, the complementary function result is e power minus x into ax plus b. This is the case 2 formula. Because our m roots are real and equal roots. That's why we are using this formula for finding the complementary function. Next, the right hand side part is sin x. It is in the form of sin ax. Here the a value is here 1. Here x coefficient is a. In this problem, x coefficient is 1. So, we have to find the particular solution that is equal to 1 divided by the given derivative term d square plus 2d plus 1 into sin x. This is the given value. Now to replace d squared by here the coefficient of x is 1. Therefore, we have to apply here d squared by minus 1 square. We get another d squared by minus 1. So substitute d squared by minus 1 here. Therefore, minus 1 plus 2d plus 1 into sin x. Therefore, plus 1 minus 1 is cancelled. Therefore, 1 by 2d into sin x. Then, you have to write 1 by 2 into 1 by d of sin x. What is the meaning of 1 by d of sin x? Which is the integration form. Therefore, 1 by 2 into integral sin x into dx. Therefore, 
1 by 2 into what is the integration of sin x? We know minus cos x. Therefore, minus 1 by 2 into cos x. This is the particular solution result. Therefore, the final solution is y equal to how to add this out. Complementary function plus particular solution. We get ax plus b into e power minus x minus 1 by 2 into cos x. This is the solution for type 2 problem. This is also type 2 problem sin 2x. What is the difference? Here the a value is 1 in this problem but here a value is 2. That's all. But the given equation is d square minus 7d plus x into y equal to sin 2x. Have to write the axillary form as it is. m power 3 minus 7m plus x equal to 0. Have to find 3 roots because here m, m power is 3. How to find 3 roots? So first we have to use the synthetic division by getting 1 root. So here m power 3 coefficient is 1. How to write here 1? That is no m square term. Therefore put 0. Here m coefficient is minus 7. Then write minus 7. Therefore constant term is 6. So putting 1, here put 0. So 1 plus 0, adding these two value, 1 plus 0, we get 1. Then multiplying these two value, we get 1. Then adding these two, we get 1. Then multiplying 1 into 1, we get 1. Therefore, minus 7 plus 1, we get minus 6. Then multiplying 1 into minus 6, we get minus 6. Then finally, 6 minus 6, we get 0. Therefore, we are getting 0 means this is the one of the root. Therefore, this is the first root. Therefore, m1 equal to 1 is the root. This is the one of the root. Hereafter, we have to find the remaining two roots by using these values. This is the constant term coefficient. This is m coefficient. This is m square coefficient. We have to write this equation form. Therefore, m square plus m minus 6 equal to 0. We have to solving this by different methods. This is the one of the method. m square. Here, plus m, we have to write 3m minus 2m. In this plus m, we have to write 3m plus 2m. We get plus m. Minus 6 equal to 0. This is the one of the method for solving this equation. Here, taking m as outside, therefore m plus 3 here. Here also m plus 3 we want. Therefore, take minus 2 as outside. Therefore, m into m plus 3 minus 2 into m plus 3 equal to 0. In these two terms, m plus 3 is common. Therefore, take m plus 3 outside. Then we get m minus 2 equal to 0. Therefore, comparing these two equations equal to 0. Therefore, m minus 2 equal to 0 and m plus 3 equal to 0. Therefore, the two roots are m equal to 2 and m equal to minus 3. So, we know the first root is m1 equal to 1. This is the second root. Therefore, write m2 here and this is the third root. Write m3 here. Therefore, the three roots 1, 2 and minus 3 are real and different roots. Therefore, the formula is complementary function equal to a e power m1 x plus b e power m2 x plus c e power m3 x. So, substitute m1, m2, m3 roots here. Therefore, the solution c f equal to a e power 1 x plus b e power 2 x plus c e power minus 3 x. This is the complementary function formula result. Then move on to the particular solution. That is 1 divided by the given form is d power 3 minus 7 d plus 6 into e sine 2 x. In this form, we have to replace only d squared value. That is d squared implies minus 2 squared. That is minus 4. How to replace d squared by minus 4. Here there, there are given d power 3. So I have to write d into d squared form. Minus 7 d plus 6 into sine 2 x. Here putting d squared by minus 4. Then we get d into minus 4 minus 7 into b as it is plus 6 also into sin 2x. Then simplifying this value, we get here minus 4d minus 7d. We get minus 11d plus 6 into sin 2x. Here we don't know the method for solving this area. So we have to take the conjugate of the denominator. Therefore, Take this as it is. 1 divided by 6 minus 11 d as it is. And take the denominator. Conjugate of the denominator. And multiplying and divided by. Multiplying divide. 
So 1 divided by 6 minus 11D into 6 plus 11D plus divided by 6 plus 11D. Multiplying and divided by the conjugate of the denominator value into sine 2x. Therefore, multiplying these two values, we get 1 into 6 plus 11D as it is 6 plus 11D. In this denominator, what is in the form? A minus B into A plus B. What is the formula for A minus B into A plus B? A squared minus B squared. Here A value is 6. So 6 squared minus B squared. That is 11D is B. Therefore, 11D whole squared. Therefore, A squared minus B squared into sine 2 x as it is. Therefore, the numerator is same. 6 plus 11D divided by solving the denominator. 6 squared, we know 36. Minus 11 squared, 121. D squared, that is D squared value. Here, how to put D squared value? That is minus 4 here. Therefore, 6 plus 11D by 36. Put D squared by minus 4. Then multiplying these two values, we get 484. Adding these two results, we get 520. Next step, what is the numerator term? 6 plus 11D into sine of 2X. What is the meaning of this one? How to sign 2x and 6 plus 11d are multiplication terms. Therefore, take sign 2x into inside. Therefore, 6 into sign 2x plus 11d into sign 2x. This is the numerator term multiplying these two values divided by 520. Therefore, sin, then that is equal to sign 2x plus 11 into d of sign 2x. That is the differentiation of sign 2x value. You know. 2 into cos 2x. Therefore, divided by 520. Therefore, 6 into sin 2x plus 11 into 2, we know 22 into cos 2x by 520. This is the particular solution value. This is the final solution for particular integral. We can't proceed hereafter. Therefore, the solution part is y equal to complementary function result plus particular solution. This is the final solution for the given ODE. This is the type 2 and then how to move on to the type 3 problem. The right hand side value is x power n for n type. In this x power n type, how to use the binomial series formula here. What is the binomial series formula? 1 plus x whole power minus 1. This expansion is 1 minus x plus x squared minus x power 3 plus up to etc. And then the another formula 1 minus x whole power minus 1. That is equal to 1 plus x plus x square plus x power 3 up to etc. Now to use either any one of the formula for giving the right hand side is like this means. So we move on to the problem. Here d square plus 2d plus 1 into y equal to x. This is the type 3 problem. So how to find the particular solution by using either one of this formula. So the complementary function formula we know how to find the axillary form that is m square plus 2m plus 1 equal to 0 then we get m plus 1 whole square here m square plus 2m plus in the form m plus 1 whole square that is equal to 0 and here there are two roots m plus 1 whole square means m plus 1 into m plus 1 therefore comparing to 0 we get m equal to minus 1 minus 1 that is the two roots are real and equal roots. Therefore, the complementary form, formula is e power mx into ax plus b. Therefore, here m value is minus 1. Therefore, complementary function formula e result is e power minus 1 into x. That is minus x ax plus b. This is the complementary function result. And how to move on to the particular solution result. What is the particular solution result? And how to write the particular solution? A particular integral equal to 1 divided by as it is d square plus 2d plus 1 into x. In this case, this is a type 3 problem. Now to use the binomial series expansion. That is 1 plus x whole power minus 1 or 1 minus x whole power minus 1. So here, take the constant term as first term. 1 plus, now to write the reverse order. 1 plus 2d plus d squared into x. Here take 1 as it is plus combining these two terms 2d plus d square and take the denominator as into the numerator. Then what we get 1 plus 2d plus d square whole power minus 1. 
This is in the form of 1 plus x whole power minus 1. Here x in the place, here 2d plus d square. So this is in the form 1 plus x whole power minus 1. What is the formula 1 plus x whole power minus 1? 1 minus x plus x square minus x power 3. Up to etc. Here x value is 2d plus d square. Therefore, the formula is 1 minus x that is 2d plus d square plus x square means 2d plus d square whole square minus up to etc. into x. We know the derivative value, the derivative of x that is 1. The second derivative of x we get 0 and third derivative of x and other terms are we get 0. Therefore, the derivative of x is 1. This is only the solution. The other terms are we get 0. Therefore, have to stop up to this. Therefore, 1 minus multiplying minus into inside. Therefore, minus 2d here minus d square plus how to expand this term. A plus B whole square formula by using 4D square plus 4D cube plus D power 4 into X. What is the derivative of X value? That is 1. The second derivative of X 0 and other terms are 0. Therefore, multiplying X as inside. Therefore, 1 into X we get X. Then 2D of X, D squared of X, 4D squared of X. Then 4D cube of X plus D power 4 of X. Therefore, second and other higher derivatives are 0. Therefore, this one, this one, this one, this one. All the values are getting 0. Therefore, cancelling these values. Then the only part is x minus 2d of x. Here d of x, that is derivative of x value. First derivative of x, that is 1. d of x means first derivative of x. This is second derivative of x value. Therefore, x minus 2 into 1. Therefore, the particular integral value is x minus 2. In this way, how to find the particular solution by using the binomial series expansion. So, we have to write the general solution y equal to e power minus x ax plus b. This is a complementary function plus particular integral value x minus 2. This is the type 3 problem. We are giving in the x power n form. It means you have to use the binomial expansion. Then only we get the particular solution value. Then the second problem right hand side is x squared. This is also a x power m form. Here as it is we have to find the complementary function plus particular solution. First we have to write the axillary form for finding the complementary function. By replacing d by m. m squared plus 4m plus 3 equal to 0. How to solve this equation? The factors of factors are m plus 1 into m plus 3 equal to 0. And for comparing these two terms equal to 0. We get m equal to minus 1 and m equal to minus 3. There are two roots. Two roots are real and different roots. Therefore, this is m1. Take this is as m2. The two roots are real and different means you have to use the complementary formula. a e power m1 x plus b e power m2 x. Substitute m1 m2 value here. Therefore, complementary function formula is a e power m on x that is minus 1x means that is minus x plus b e power minus 3x. This is the complementary function result. Next move on to the particular solution. This is such a simple one. 1 divided by d square plus 4d plus 3 into x square. This is the particular solution form. This is also take the reverse order. 3 plus 4d plus d square into x square. Take 3 as outside. Then we get 1 plus 4d plus d square divided by 3 into x square. Take this denominator into a numerator form. Therefore, 1 divided by 3 is outside. Then take this denominator into a numerator. We get power minus 1. That is 1 plus 4d plus d square divided by 3 whole power minus 1 into dx square. x square. This is in the form 1 plus x. Here x in the place 4d plus d square by 3. Here 1 plus x whole power minus 1 formula. So here also you have to use the binomial expansion. Therefore 1 by 3. What is the 1 plus x whole power minus 1? 1 minus x plus x squared up to etc. Here x value is 4d plus d squared divided by 3. Replace here into x squared. Here 
how to multiply minus as inside the 1 minus 4d by 3 minus d squared by 3 and the other derivative other terms here 4d plus d square whole square the 2 also in the denominator also therefore 3 square so denominator value is 9 because the square is common for numerator and denominator but the outside x square is what is the derivative of x, x square first derivative is 2x the second derivative of x square is 2 third derivative of x square is 0 so we get only two results first derivative of x square is 2x and the second derivative of x squared is 2 other third fourth derivatives are we get 0 we have to use the first and second derivative terms only we have to take the first and second derivatives that is minus 4d by 3 and minus d power 3 d squared by 3 here how to use a plus b whole squared form that is 4d whole square that is 16 d squared the other terms are d power 3 and d power 4 that value is 0 so don't take that one divided by 3 squared that is 9 how to use these four terms only into x squared then you have to take x squared inside multiply by inside therefore 1 into x squared x squared here 4d of x squared by 3 here d squared of x squared by 3 here 16 by 9 d squared of x squared how to use this values x squared minus 4 by 3 what is d of x squared that is first derivative of x squared that is 2x here the second derivative of x squared that is 2 here also second derivative of x squared that value is 2 therefore uh, simplifying this equation we get x squared minus, minus 8x by 3 minus 2 by 3 plus 32 by 9 therefore we get 1 by 3 x squared what is the x term minus 8x by 3 then solving this constant term we get 26 by 9 this is the particular solution result then as it is then for the final solution is y equal to complementary function plus particular solution that is y equal to complementary function a e power minus x plus b e power minus 3x it is a complementary result Therefore, the particular solution result is here 1 by 3 x squared minus 8x by 3 plus 26 by 9. Okay. This is the third type for solving the OD equation. It's okay. Next, fourth type. Fourth type, the right hand side type is e power ax into either cos ax or e power ax into sin ax or e power ax into x there are two multiplication terms one term is e power another one is either cos ax sin ax or x in this type in this type of problem this is the type 4 problem in this type we have to solve first you have to take e power ax value by replacing d gives d plus this a value e power x coefficient is here a so first you have to take e power ax and replace d by d plus a this is the type 4 problem how to see the problem the first problem is d squared minus 2d plus 7 into y equal to e power 3x into cos 2x here also you have to find the complementary and particular solutions then write the axillary form by replacing d by m so m squared minus 2m plus 7 equal to 0. This is the axillary form. Then find the two roots because m squared. Therefore, we want two roots of m. So by using the quadratic formula minus b plus r minus sky root of b squared minus 4ac by 2a. Here the here we want a, b, c values. Then only you have to find the roots. Here m square coefficient is a value that is 1. m coefficient minus 2 that is b. A constant term that is c value putting here here b value is minus 2 so minus of minus plus 2 plus or minus sky root of b square minus 2 square we get 4 minus 4 ac 4 into a into c we get 28 divided by 2 into a a value 1 here therefore 2 and for 2 plus or minus sky root of 4 minus 28 that is minus 24 by 2 then 2 plus or minus 
have to minus 24 as 4 into minus 6 divided by 2. Then 2 plus 7 minus how to square root of 4 as outside. Therefore, 2 into square root of minus 6 divided by 2. And you have to write 2 plus or minus 2 into what is the square root of minus 6? That is square root of 6 into i because the inside value is minus root 6 divided by 2. Therefore, taking 2 as outside 1 plus or minus root 6 side by 2. Cancelling these two values, we get the value of m that is m equal to 1 plus or minus root 6 into i this is in the form of imaginary roots therefore the real part is alpha value that is 1 the imaginary term is root 6 that is beta value therefore this is a complementary function formula put alpha equal to 1 and beta equal to root 6 and we get the complementary result then move on to the particular solution this is the type of 4 problem because e power ax into cos ax formula. So, you have to replace d by t plus 3 because you have to use the e power value. So, 1 divided by d square minus 2d plus 7 into e power 3x into cos 2x. Take e power term into the first one that is e power 3x into 1 divided by how to replace d by d yeah, and the x coefficient is plus 3. So, plus 3. They are given minus 3x means how to put minus 3. That is d minus 3 form. Now to replace d by d plus 3. Put here. So, d plus 3 whole square minus 2 into d plus 3 plus 7 into cos 2x. Then simplifying this term. We get e power 3x into 1 divided by a plus b whole square form. d square plus 6d plus 9 minus 2d minus 6 plus 7 into cos 2x. In simplifying this equation, we get d square plus d minus 2d, we get plus 4d. 9 minus 6 plus 7, we get 10 into cos 2x. Hereafter, you have to use this second type because 1 by d square plus 4d plus 7 into cos ax form. So, cos ax means you have to replace d square by minus this square value minus 2 square that is minus 4. So, putting d squared by minus 4 here we get e power 3x into minus 4 plus 4d plus 10 into cos 2x. In simplifying this value we get what is the value? Minus 4 plus 10 we get plus 6. 6 plus 4d into cos 2x. Here after you have to solve this equation by using the conjugate method. Therefore, before that, you have to take 2 as common. Therefore, e power 3x by 2 into 1 divided by you are taking 2 as outside. Then we get 3 plus 2d into cos 2x. Here after you have to use the conjugate of the denominator. That is 3 minus 2d by 3 plus 2d. As it is e power 3x by 2, 1 divided by 3 plus 2d into the conjugate of the denominator 3 minus 2d divided by 3 minus 2d into cos 2x. Therefore, e power 3x by 2 as it is 1 into 3 minus 2d as it is 3 minus 2d divided by in this denominator a plus b into a minus b. It is in the form of a square minus b square that is 3 square minus 2d square into cos 2x. In simplifying this value we get 9 minus 4d square. Here I have to put d squared value that is minus 4 here. Therefore, 9 minus 4 into minus 4 into cos 2x. Therefore, minus into minus plus. So, 9 plus 16 that is 25. Therefore, e power 2x, 2 into 25 we get 50. Then remaining terms 3 minus 2d into cos x. These two are multiplication terms. Take cos 2x into inside. Therefore, e power 3x by 50, 3 into cos 2x minus 2d into cos 2x. What is the differentiation of cos 2x? Minus 2 sin 2x. Substitute here. Therefore, we get e power 3x by 50 into 3 cos 2x minus into minus we get plus 2 into 2 we get 4. Therefore, 4 sin 2x. This is the particular solution. So, we get the complementary function and particular solution. Then write the general solution that is y equal to complementary function plus particular integral that is y equal to e power x 
a cos root 6x plus b sin root 6x plus particular integral this result this is the final solution these are the types of some types of ode problems this is also fourth type problem e power ax into x power n type so in this case also we have to find the complementary and particular solution we have to write the axillary form as it is m square plus a term plus 15 equal to 0 how to find the two factors m plus 3 into m plus 5 equal to 0 therefore we get two results the two results are real and different that is m1 and m2 we denote m1 and m2 therefore the complementary function equal to a e power m1 x plus b e power m2 x here m1 value minus 3 put here m2 value is minus 5 put here this is the complementary result then find the particular solution how to write 1 divided by d square plus 80 8d plus 15 into e power 3x into x. Have to take e power term as first. So e power 3x into 1 divided by putting d by d plus 3. Correct. E power x coefficient is plus 3. Therefore, putting d by d plus 3 here. Therefore, d plus 3 whole square plus 8 into d plus 3 plus 15 into x. And for simplifying this term, we get d squared a plus b whole square form. d squared plus 6d plus 9 plus 8d plus 24 plus 15 into x. Simplifying this, we get 48 plus 14d plus d squared. In this case, it is in the form of type 3 problem, that is x power n problem. In this case, how to use the binomial expansion so that we have to change the denominator part. And for taking 48 as outside, therefore, first term is 1. Yeah, the common 14d plus d squared divided by 48 into x taking this this denominator into numerator and for e power 3x by 48 combining these two then in this denominator take into a numerator therefore the power is minus 1 into x it is in the form of 1 plus x whole power minus 1 what is 1 plus x whole power minus 1 formula 1 minus x plus x squared up to etc. So we are not using the other terms. Only use 1 minus x. First two terms only. Because the derivative of x is 1. The second derivative of x is 0. So that we are using the first two expansion formula into x. Therefore, multiplying minus into inside. Therefore, 1 minus 14d by 48 minus d squared by 48 into x. And as it is this one, x into in, inside. Therefore, 1 into x, x, 14d of x by 48 minus d squared x of 48. Cancelling these two values, we get 7 by 24. What is the d of x? First derivative of x, that is 1. The second derivative of x, we know 0. So, the total term is, we get 0. Therefore, the solution is e power 3x into divided by 48 into x minus 7 by 24. This is particular solution value. Therefore, write this general solution. Complementary plus particular. This is the some kind of body problems. Next one. Cauchy's and Euler's homogeneous equation. What is Cauchy's and Euler's homogeneous equation? This is also a differential equation, but not a constant coefficient that is a variable coefficient that is a different for ordinary and Cauchy's equation. The general form is a naught x power n d power n y by d x power n plus a1 x power n minus 1 d power n minus y by d x power n minus 1 up to etc. a and y equal to as it is right and side is some function of x. Here in this differential equation what is the coefficient of that is a variable term. That is not a constant coefficient. In this derivative, a naught, a1, up to etc., a n. These are the constant. But x power n, x power n minus 1, these are the variable. Therefore, this equation having the variable coefficients. It is in the form of x power n. So, for solving this equation, how to put x equal to e power z. We have to put some value, then only we have to solve this equation. 
and the variable is x. So put x equal to e power z. Taking log on both sides, log x equal to yeah, taking log we get z. So you have to use these two values. So substitute here we get x d equal to d dash, x squared equal to d, x squared d squared equal to d dash into d dash minus 1. Similarly, x power 3 d power 3 means d dash d dash minus 1 into d dash minus 3. How to use this value? We get this results x d equal to d dash and x squared d squared equal to d dash into d dash minus 1. How to use this value for giving equation? Then solve the equation. So first one x square d squared y by dx squared plus 3x into dy by dx plus y equal to cos of log x. It is in the form of Euler's type because the coefficient is variable. That is, the coefficient is in terms of x. So, you have to use these conditions. Then only we solve this equation. So, how to rewrite this equation? x squared. What is d squared by dx squared? That is capital D squared into y. Here three x. What is d by dx value? That is capital D into y plus y equal to cos log x. Therefore, take y as outside. We get this equation. Here the derivative part is a coefficient of variable term. So we can't solve this equation. So now to put x equal to e power z and log x equal to z, then we get x d equal to. We have to replace d this d dash and x squared d dash. D squared means now to use d dash d dash minus 1 in equation number 1. Therefore, what is x squared d squared? d dash d dash minus 1. Substitute here. Plus 3 into what is x d? x d value is d dash plus 1 into y equal to how to change right hand side also. Cos of what is log x value? That is z. Therefore, they are giving this equation in terms of x can be changed as in terms of z. We have to find the complementary function in terms of z and also particular solution in terms of z, then convert into x form. So, in this equation number 1, we get x squared d squared means d dash d dash minus 1 plus 3 into what is x d value that is d dash plus 1 into y that is equal to cos z. So, we have to simplify this one. d dash squared minus d dash plus 3 dash plus 1 into y equal to cos z. Therefore, minus d dash plus 3 d dash, we get plus 2 dash plus 1 into y equal to cos z. Then, this is the ordinary form, ordinary differential equation form. There is no variable coefficient term. So, we have to solve the complementary and for particular solution hereafter. Therefore, the axillary form is put d dash by m here. Therefore, m square plus 2m plus 1 equal to 0. In this axillary form, the right hand side is always 0. Therefore, it is in the form of m plus 1 whole square that is equal to 0. Therefore, two roots m plus 1 into m plus 1 equal to 0. Therefore, the values are m equal to minus 1 minus 1. Here, the roots are real and equal roots. That is, we put m only. Therefore, the complementary function formula in terms of z. Therefore, e power m is at a is at plus b. What is the m value? Minus 1. Put here, therefore, e power minus z, a z plus b. This is the complementary function in terms of z. But how to change into original form, that is x form. Therefore, uh, put z, we know what is x value, x equal to e power z and log x equal to z. Substitute here, what is z value, z equal to log x. Here, put also z equal to log x. Then, what is the value of e power minus log x? Take minus 1 as in the power of x. Therefore, e power log x power minus 1. We get e and log are cancelled. Therefore, we get 1 by x form. That is x power minus 4. That is 1 by x. After solving this, we get x power minus 1. Because this minus 1 take into this x power. Therefore, e power log x power minus 1. Cancelling this e and log value, we get x power minus 1. What is the x power minus 1? That is 1 by x into 
a log x plus b this is the complementary function this is the original result then particular solution what is the given 1 by d dash pi r plus 2 d dash plus 1 into cos z this is in the form of type 2 problem that is how to replace d dash pi r by minus a square what is minus a value 1 therefore put here a value 1 that is 1 square means we also minus 1 so put d dash pi r by minus 1 here therefore minus 1 plus 2 d dash plus 1 so cancel this two value we get 1 divided by 2 d dash of cos z so take 1 by 2 as outside therefore 1 by 1 divided by d dash of cos z what is the meaning of 1 by d dash of cos z that is integration of cos z d z therefore what is the integration of cos z that is sin z therefore the particular solution is 1 by 2 sin z but you have to change into x form. What is the z value? Log x. So, that particular solution is changed into the variable x. Therefore, this is a particular solution. Therefore, the general solution is y equal to complementary plus particular. It's okay. This is the first problem. They are giving the variable coefficient. So, we can't solve this equation as it is. You have to change into ordinary form like this. Then you have to find the complementary and particular solution based on the type. So second problem, this is also variable term that is Euler form. You have to change into ordinary form then only solve the solution. So here the, what is the equation x square d square y by dx square plus x into dy by dx minus 4y equal to x power g. How to write d squared by dx squared as capital D squared. Then d by dx value that is capital D minus 4y equal to x power 3. Therefore, take y as common and we get this equation 1. So, this is a variable coefficient term. So, how to change the ordinary form means put these terms. x equal to e power z and taking log on both sides we get log x equal to z. Then x d equal to d dash and x squared d squared equal to d dash d dash minus 1. I have to replace these values. So substitute here 1. We get what is x squared d squared value d dash d dash minus 1. Plus what is x d value that is d dash minus 4 equal to what is x? x equal to e power z. Therefore e power z whole power 3. Therefore simplifying this one d dash cryat minus d dash plus d dash minus 4 equal to Multiplying 3 is inside, therefore e power 3 is it. Therefore, we get d dash chi at, these two terms are cancelled. Minus 4 into y equal to e power 3 is it. This is the ordinary form. So, you have to find the ancillary form, that is m sky minus 4 equal to 0. Putting d dash by m here. Therefore, m sky minus 4 equal to 0. Therefore, m having two roots, plus or minus 2. Therefore, two roots are real and different roots. Therefore, this is the formula. In terms of you know z, therefore a e power m1 z plus b e power m2 z. What is the m1 value 2 here? M2 value minus 2. So this is in the form of z. How to change in the x form? I have to write a e power 2 z means I have to write e power z whole power 2. These two are same. Here also b how to write e power z whole power minus 2. What is e power z value x? So, a into x square. Here also e power z value is x. x power minus 2. x power minus 2 take into denominator. That is x power plus 2. Therefore, complementary function formula is. Result is a x square plus b by x square. This is the complementary result. Then similarly, we have to find the particular solution. We know 1 divided by. What is the equation? d dash square minus 4 into e power 3 z. This is type 1 problem. Put d dash by this z coefficient plus 3. So substitute here. We get 3 squared. We get 9 minus 4 e power 3 z. What is 9 minus 4? 5. Into e power 3 z. So here the result is in the form of z. You have to change into x form. Therefore 1 by 5 e power z whole power 3. How to write e power 3 z as e power 3. 
Z whole power 3. What is Z power Z value? We know that is X. Uh, for the result is particular solution 1 by 5 X power 3. This is the particular solution. Therefore, the final solution is Y equal to A X square plus B by X square plus 1 by 5 X power 3. That's all. Complementary plus particular. We are solving the ODE equation. Totally, we find the complementary and particular solution. So, so in this session, we are to saw about first order and higher order linear differential equation and how to solve the equations for different methods. Okay, thank you. Thank you for listening. Thank you so much.